Hey guys, this is Corey from Nursing.com and I am here with Keith, Danielle, and Randy from Pets and Things Reptile Emporium. Correct. These guys are fantastic. We just spent a small bit of time talking to them before you know we started this interview up. And Keith, tell me, what kind of things do you guys, you guys just deal in collecting reptiles and like a pet shop, sort of? Not really. No, not really. We don't collect reptiles. We actually, I mean, in a person, you're like on a personal level, but we, we actually captive raised the majority of our inventory and we have in-house animals that are truly our pets and we, you know, we train them. We, you know, we, people come just to look and hang out with our animals that never are for sale. They're just awesome. You know, we have plenty of them that are for sale, but you, you, you know, pretty much people come to visit our animals who live there all the time. That's awesome. That's fantastic. I mean, it's like like a constantly growing zoo type deal. Right. And I mean, like, I'm sure there are animals that you guys have in, you know, your shop that you probably wouldn't find at, you know, like zoos around here in Michigan. You know, we have a lot of odd stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of oddball animals for sure. But I mean, like, I feel like this, this is also something that you guys do that you all love. This isn't a job. This is a passion. We've, we're you obsessed. know, yeah, we're kind of obsessed. It's easy to be that way. You know, I mean, literally, I've been doing this for 31 years. Um, you can't do something that long if you don't like it a lot. Yeah, yeah definitely. 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 Always an option. Yeah, but that's right. good. That's good. So you guys came out to Cranbrook Institute. What sparked you guys to want to come here and put on an exhibit here and be a part of this event? They asked us to. Yeah. <laughs> Who they came out to, to us, right. you know, out to our store, and they liked it a lot. And then, you know, it, it, this whole idea came about, and they would like, they wanted us to be part of it. And we were happy that we were. Extremely happy. I'm super glad that you, you guys came out. I saw Danielle. She had a snake around her neck. Um, Randy had, was a lizard? A large a large, what was it? <clears throat> He's a, a caiman lizard or northern caiman lizard. Yeah, it's a South American water tegu, essentially. Uh, four, four foot large lizard, yeah. That's awesome. That's so awesome. I've never seen so many reptiles gathered in one place at one time. I haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> 10% of what is viewable at the store, let alone everything behind the scenes that we work with day to day. This was a small smattering. That's it was hard to choose what we could offer because we have so many that we could have offered. Right, right, right. And that's that in itself is awesome that you guys came out and wanted to put on a solid exhibit of animals for people to look at things that they probably wouldn't see right. in every day so um outside of reptiles is there anything that you guys are like really interested in like just no, really outside a little slice of, of life animals uh you know animals nature in general uh she does a lot with herbology we do a lot we know a lot about plants this guy knows about plants like he knows about animals if you could believe that um a lot of really natural really natural medicine being in tune with what nature is and what it has to offer as people and what we can offer them uh because we are invading essentially and we would like to politely invade because it's inevitable uh that we will meet it's nice to know that we're there to try to make it a nice meeting or a nice meeting for other people as well and other animals. We're in a historic, in the Utica Historical District in a hundred year old building. Um, on top of having all these animals around, you're in an all wood, natural, new, uh, you know, old setting that it really takes it back to the old boutique style where we're not in a plaza set up, you know, row for row. yeah, row for row for, you know, it's not the same as what you would walk into. You would actually think you're walking into an old house and mistaken until you walk in and, and see all the animals free roaming and walking and, and, and you know, being trained and, and having a good time with us, having a good time with them. That's awesome. So last question, did you guys have fun? Unbelievable amount of fun. Yeah, absolutely. We if can't wait to come back. <laughs> if this doesn't continue, we are going to try to make one ourselves because yeah. this was really, I we saw the light in many people's eyes with the information we were giving as well as they we gave it reciprocated in full because it was a lot of fun. It really was a lot of fun uh, to educate people and, and see people that want to be educated. Yeah. I'm excited to see other people excited about what you're talking about. For sure. Well, thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming out. Absolutely. Thank you for doing what you guys do.